People who live in the evacuated areas had just minutes to grab their things and get to safety once the flames started moving. Today, deputies went back into the danger zone to get a first glimpse at what the damages truly looked like. News 13's Anna Hoffman is joining us live from the new Center for Evacuees, the Bay County Fairgrounds. Anna, how many homes do we know that are a total loss? Emily officials confirmed that eight homes were a complete loss in this fire. Crews are still working around the clock to try and contain the flames, and they say it could be like this for days. The forest that once stood behind Whitehead Boulevard decimated with patches of smoke still burning. This is a very dangerous situation, a fast moving wildfire. The fire was coming over the tops of trees into this neighborhood as deputies and officers were evacuating these neighborhoods. All the homes have been evacuated. The neighborhood is quiet with only sounds of smoke alarms still ringing. Just steps away from the forest are two homes that were completely engulfed in the flames, leaving families to pick up the pieces to their lives once again. I had an opportunity to tour some of these communities and I saw a couple homes that sadly uh, had been fully engulfed in flames and were destroyed, but I saw many other homes that were saved because of the work uh, of our firefighters. Sheriff Tommy Ford says what this fire will do next is unpredictable. He says emergency officials will not let people back into their homes just yet since the flames could reignite at any time. Ford says if you live in the area surrounding the fire but haven't had to evacuate yet to stay on high alert. For those that are in nearby areas, they need to remain very vigilant uh, as this fire can shift and uh, deputies, if there's a need to evacuate, will be in those areas uh, getting them out of their house. Emergency officials are warning this is not the end. They say to avoid further damage, do not burn anything outside. Outdoor burning should be avoided at any case, any cause. Uh, even be careful with as simply as uh, grilling and stuff outdoors. Emergency management officials say everyone should be taking this burn ban very seriously. Bay, Gulf, Walton, Jackson, Calhoun, and more counties are under a burn ban as of right now. Yeah, that burn ban is definitely necessary at this point. Nobody should be burning anything outside right now. And even grilling is something that safety officials are, you should take kind of easy, be easy on that. But Anna, you actually went out there today and you also saw some of the damage for yourself. What was that like for you? Emily, it was honestly heartbreaking to see some of this. You can see right into somebody's front door and it was sad to see. You could see right past. To me, it just looked like a deserted area and that's not Bay County and it was really heartbreaking to see. I can only imagine what these families are going through and Sheriff Tommy Ford, he, he had some tips for us about packing a go bag, just making sure you're absolutely prepared. What else can people do in case, you know, unfortunately, if law enforcement comes knocking on their door and they only have a few seconds to get out, what else did he say people could do? Yeah, that's right, Emily. Chair Ford said that everybody should have a go pack ready to go. So if it does come to your neighborhood and you have to evacuate, you can just grab it and get to safety as quick as possible. All right, great information. Thank you so much, Anna.